such sinister music? Is it the laboratory of some mad scientist? Oh, yeah, pretty much. This film's so old, back then they were just Captain Electric. Goodbye to garbage, goodbye to rubbish, goodbye to ragtime trash. Apparently it's a long goodbye. There's a dull brown tedious tomorrow. Has this ever happened to you? Has a commercial ever asked you if you something's happened to you? We hope not, we're trying to be original. It makes a soggy package, but... Do not Google well, soggy Google. package. At least you hope you will. And then... You're distracted by an orchestra hit. All over a nice, clean kitchen. Exasperating, isn't it? Well, mildly inconvenient, but sure. Living would be easier, and your work in the kitchen a lot less messy, if you never had to worry about a garbage can. Or if or somebody just invented, collection. you know, a bag. Wouldn't it be fun to never have to wrap a bit of garbage? Never have to do anything to get rid of garbage, except to twist the top like this. Wouldn't that be fun, kids? I know you youths love your top twisting. And another thing about a general electric super grind disposal. Another thing? Did we skip this a few pages? Science is completely out of your way, virtually invisible. Can't tell that to your kid now that you've ruined their favorite hide and seek spot. And now let's take a look at a cutaway photo of the model we see here. Or just this cross-section of a Dalek. This is what the inside's like. Oh, you're uh, looking a little flaccid on the right Here's there. The twist top. It serves as the on and off switch, too. The two-quart capacity hopper. Capacity, that's Doc Hopper's first name. The shredding ring. Named after the wedding rings you'll lose in here. And the impeller. The power of GE impels you. And here's how all these look in the actual Dispose All unit. Dispose All units. Under the hopper being removed now is the shredding area of the Dispose All. And in the heart of this shredding area is a stainless steel flywheel. The flywheel of stainless As steel. The flywheel rotates more than seven. That was a deep cut news radio reference. It acts to force food waste into the shredding ring. This Sunday in the shredding ring. Here in the ring, Food waste is reduced to the tiniest of particles by the Carboloy Cutter. Watch the Carboloy Cutter destroy food waste in the shredding ring! This cutter grinds any type of waste with ease. It grinds any and waste with the greatest of the ease. Too. These are the two impellers that hold food wastes against the shredding ring until waste is ground finely enough to be washed down the drain. And watch this. Watch this! Are you watching? Are you watching? Bone, Mom, you're not watching! Really coarse particle should try to jam the unit. The jam-resistant impellers back away and rotate to clear the jam. Oh yeah, I'm really glad I watched that. Mommy's trying to read, honey. This is the fruit flipper. My favorite penny arcade, arcade character. On the flywheel, it tumbles articles like grapefruit rinds over and over within grinding reach of the shredder ring. Oh, anything's grinding reach if you have a long enough torso. These are the shredder ring openings through which, once all of it has been finely ground, food waste is carried by centrifugal action to be washed down the drain by the running water. Yeah, I don't need to see how every Here part of it works, okay? ...of how a General Electric Super Grind Disposal works. See how it's cutting these grapefruit halves down to size and never giving them a chance to escape from the cutting action of the carboloy cutter. They beg for mercy, but the disposal is an unjust god. Of course, particles like corn cobs get the works inside a general electric disposal. In almost less time than it takes to tell you about it, so like 10 seconds that feel like 8 hours, size or smaller, and given a one-way ticket down the drain. Hey, at least someone can travel this year. The ease with which you can dispose of food wastes like corn cobs, who are not owned, watermelon, grapefruit, and other rinds, is one of the greatest joys of owning a General Electric Disposal. Honestly, with the way this year's gone, I crave the simple pleasure of rind destruction. Think this bone can stop a General Electric Disposal? Sounds like a trick question. Remember what I told you about that carboloy cutter? The bone doesn't have a chance. And remember, too, what happened when that other bone tried to jam a disposal. Should we really be ascribing intent to the actions of these bones? They'll do the same thing here. I know he was a monster to work with, but Kubrick really knew how to use slow-mo. That's life 
with the General Electric Disposal under your sink. Life with the General Electric Disposal under your sink, Tuesdays on CBS. Over. General Electric Disposals require a minimum of attention. Just like your family. To operate than an electric clock will even work on a septic tank. There's a model to exactly fit your needs. Yes, goodbye to garbage. That's what this happy woman might be saying about What she's actually is saying is, please free me from this oppressive nightmare of a kitchen commercial. For a more gracious way of living, brought to you by General Electric. General Electric, we built Disney rides, we bought and sold Universal, and next we'll just put a power plant in SeaWorld or something. Ha ha ha, what fun. I sure hope you enjoyed that riff on an old commercial for a General Electric Super Grind Disposal. And now, a new commercial for something else. You know how certain theme parks we all love recently laid off a ton of their frontline workers? And you know how they tried to blame this on the state of California, even though they did it in Florida too, where the parks are wide open, and they did it after restoring top executive salaries to their pre-pandemic levels, so it really just looks more like corporate greed than anything else. Well, some friends of mine are putting together a charity stream to benefit those struggling cast members called Thanks for the Magic. We all love the theme parks a lot, and the employees are what make the theme park experience special, so we really do want to give back. The live stream will go for 36 hours, starting at noon Pacific on Saturday, December 5th. I will be on some of the stream. I won't be on for the full 36 hours because, good lord, I'm just one man. But I'll be popping in and out a fair bit, I'm sure, and many other people you know and love will be popping in and out of the stream as well. It's gonna be a real fun time. The stream will be on Charlie Callahan's channel, Theme Snark, and I presume if you're subscribed to me, you're already subscribed to him, but if not, um... You can also follow at Thanks for Magic on Twitter for updates, including ways you can contribute. I will see you there on Saturday and well into Sunday as we give back to those who bend over backwards to make that one place the happiest one on Earth. And until then, this is Dave, signing off.